Hello, and welcome to the Saturday MP Show, episode number 24, being recorded December 18th, 2023. This is a show about shipping secure, high-quality software faster, so you don't have to spend so much time, so much money or effort just getting software at the door. You can get it done faster and cheaper and more efficient, whether you're a developer or a business owner, yeah, anything like that. So. Uh, and today's episode, we're going to accomplish that mission by answering a user question. So we have, oh, I didn't, oops, I have the wrong, <laughs> the wrong, the wrong form of, there we go. So we have the, this is asked in a, in a previous video. So in episode 19, I answered a question from Victoria about Docker volumes and Docker watch. So that was a lot of fun. And then during that uh, episode, uh, I think I just call this person A1, A11 maybe, A1 like the sauce, uh, asked a question about that you can't just use an image when you're using Docker, um, when you're just using Docker watch, it has to be a Docker file. I, I kind of misunderstood his question at first. His, hers, uh, this person's question. Sorry, I'm not quite sure. Um, so yeah, and they provided an interesting example. So. I'm assuming this is going to work. So we're going to try it. This, this is probably going to be a shorter video because everything's here. I just want to try this and confirm A1's theory. And, and we'll kind of answer the question live here because I haven't actually tried this yet. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, and for those of you that don't uh, tune in very often, these are not sort of, these are filmed live with very little editing. So if you want a more uh, kind of real polished video. This is not the one for you. If you just want to watch people do things live, uh, this is the video for you. So we're going to try this live here and see, answer this question live and see what happens. But it'll probably be a shorter video than normal. So, so yeah. Uh, okay. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, a couple other things before we answer that question. If you have a question you'd like answered in a future video, you can send it to ask at saturdaymp.com. Uh, it's ASK at S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y-M-P dot C-O-M. Uh, or you could just leave it in the comments below, uh, kind of like other people have done in the in YouTube here. You can leave comments down below. Uh, and of course, if you have any feedback about these videos or any constructive criticism, you can, again, leave in the comments or send me an email. Uh, you know, constructive stuff only, please. <laughs> it's no point just being mean. There's enough being mean people in the world. No need for you to be another mean person. So, and of course, if you find this video useful, uh, it'd be great if you shared it with others and liked it and all that usual stuff. Uh, if you think others could benefit from it. So, all right. So I guess I should say too, I'm your host, Chris, uh, just in case. I don't think I said that at the beginning. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's my name. Uh, okay, let's see what we get going on here. So this is the old, in the video 19 there, I basically set up this, which used this Docker file that was Node, just to kind of play around with Docker volumes and Docker uh, watch. But let's try, let's create a new, um, how are we gonna do this? Let's just create a new service here. I think we're just gonna basically cut and paste A1's example here and see what happens. Uh, I don't think we want the target to be root. Let's just put app. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, yeah, if you put it at root, you're going to clobber your whole folder. Uh, I think. I don't, I don't know. I never mounted anything directly to root. That could, that maybe that'll be another video. That could be a problem. Uh, okay, so they have it. Oh, uh, the other thing A1 has is his is on rebuild instead of sync. Okay, let's, because, hmm, rebuild will rebuild your image and sync will just sync it. So, okay, well, let's try just the, well, let's try sync first and maybe we'll try the rebuild after. So we have, a new doc a service, it's high, it's using the hello world image. It's going to watch on sync and we're going to map basically this, our current folder 
to the app folder on the target. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Uh, hello. Well, let's just we'll run it once just to make sure it builds. I don't know if I have hello world pulled down. If I don't, it should be pretty quick. Uh, additional, whoops, I got two highs in there. I don't need two, just one. Just need to say hi once, okay. Let's see if that'll build. Oh, interesting, I didn't know that Copilot had like a little Uh, image. Oh, is the image not? Docker hub, hello. Do I have to put Docker in front of something in front of it? No, should be just hello world. Oh, I don't. I called it, we called the service, sorry, we called the service high and the image is hello world. So we don't have a service called hello world. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. I'm curious what this does now. Oh, I clicked it. Let's see if it does anything. All right, okay, so that looked like it worked. Um, but now we want to keep this running, so let's maybe put a command in there just to keep it running. So let's go docker compose up high. Oops, uh, oh, there's no tail. Um, What is that? what is the hello world have in it? I guess we could run it as let's try this. Uh, uh, I think that we'll see if this will keep it running. maybe oh I wonder what the hello world <laughs> can you actually just what is this image based off of Well, maybe we won't be able to do it with Hello World. Uh, I don't need a dash IT for Docker Compose. I didn't have a tail command, that's interesting. Can I actually? Oh yeah, maybe we can see what it is. Do I need to? I probably. Oh, I probably need to over. It's probably got an entry point. I need to override. Um. based off of uh, Debian yeah
Oh, that's the build image at least. What's the actual one? I imagine they're all about the same. Let's see. From scratch. Um, hmm. It's from. What is the scratch image? Can I see what the Docker file's like? Um Okay. We're wasting too much time on that. All right, so let's get back to this. So we got the sync, we got the, so scratch. I guess we could try one more thing, let's see. Uh, shell or docker scratch image. If not, we'll just use the node one. Oh, oh unnecessary cookies. Oh, you need to add a shell, yeah, okay. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, I guess that's why, maybe why he had the uh, A1 had the rebuild going there. So let's try, because we have our original one up here. Well, let's just try creating another one. Um, app, we'll call it app image. And it'll basically be the same uh, this is node. What node did I use here? Let's just use the same version of node that I used there. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. And then like so. Okay, so that should grab us a node image. It'll keep it running with just the tail command. And um, it will add this watch syntax in here. So when anything's synced from here, it should map it to the app folder. Let's see if that works. First of all, we'll just run it once just to see it working. I might have to pull that image. I think it's just uh, an Alpine, so it should be pretty quick. Okay. Pull, pull, pull. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so hello world. I wonder if A1's example of hello world didn't work because it doesn't have a shell or anything. Uh, you can't it with compose watch it fails for me. Yeah, maybe it's because hello world is just based on scratch Like it doesn't have any shells or any of the added features because you need for um, Oh, yeah, because for docker um, uh, For docker watch to work you need rsync set up so if we go look at docker uh, docker compose watch You will need Uh, where's the prerequisites include? Right, like in order for it to work, you need all these executables installed on your image. And it looks like because the hello world image is based off that scratch image, which it doesn't seem like it has any shells or anything. So it probably doesn't have any of these commands. Well, it might have them, but if you don't have a shell, maybe you won't be able to execute them. So. That's interesting. I might have to dig into more of that. Oh, this is taking a while. Uh, 
All right, think faster. Oh, I'm in tail. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in dev tail. No, I forgot to put bash at the end. That's why it's, it's just stuck there now. All right, let's just close this. Uh, oh, uh, uh, let's just make sure we get rid of any. Oh, Docker, stop. It's still running. Let's just stop it. Because <laughs> I forgot to put the, the bash command at the end. It's just running this happily forever. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, nope, uh, not down. I want the up. All oh, right, I created a new window. Docker close. Uh, run, remove the image, app image. Bash. There we go. Uh, oh right, I'm in the. I'm using Alpine. There's no bash. I got to use the sh cell. Okay, so we're in. Um, is there an app folder? Doesn't look like it created the app folder. All right, so let's try and sync something here. So we have these files in the outside here. Let's just create a new file. Uh, let's just call it foo. Oh, we're not watching anything. That's why it's not gonna. It's not gonna I always forget with Docker watch, you have to run a separate, you gotta run like a separate command here, which is kind of a pain, so. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, so this is the one where we got it running. And then if we go, uh, all right, and I have to remember the command because I actually, if you watch a previous dude, I actually don't use watch. I like using volume still more. Um, so we set it up something like that. Just run Docker compose watch. Okay. I got a bunch of uh, oh, maybe it's getting confused. Can I run watch with just one image? All right, let's just comment these out. Um, Oh. Okay. Just get out of here. Docker. Stop. Let's just make sure everything stopped again. Okay, well, let's just do Docker compose up app image. Okay, now if I go here, Docker compose watch found orphan containers. Uh, oh, I guess we need to do that. Remove orphans. Or um, well, that's probably the worst. Remove O R P H. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you can run this command to remove. I guess that doesn't do anything. K 
account uh, without a build content. Oh, did I not build it? Oh, I just ran it. Okay. So again, I don't use Docker Watch very often. Uh, if you watch that previous video, episode 19, I'll explain why, but basically volume just syncs. Like the sync when volumes works really well for the most part for me for development. So I don't really need to use this watch sync and it you had to run two extra commands and apparently there's all this other uh, steps you gotta go through where it, like it's built. Found orphan containers. Uh, dash B. I'll oh, just clean everything up. All right, let's stop the other one. Yeah, it looks like it. Dash. Oh, okay. Well, this is like not the video I was planning on making. I guess we're cleaning a bunch of stuff up here. Um, wow, that's super annoying. So, yeah, this is making me like watch less and less just, I guess we're just purging everything oh I've got to probably stop all these containers first I'll probably stop this one too Okay, so it looks like everything is gone. Docker, let's just make sure. Network, so shouldn't have been a problem, but who knows. Get rid of a bunch of stuff. What did I get rid of? Oh, cash objects. Okay. Okay. Build app image. All right. So there's nothing for it to build because it's an image. So if we just did up app image. Oh. Yes, you're right. Docker Compose needs an E in the end. It'll have to pull it again. Okay, so we're attached there. So we did Docker Compose Watch. Okay, okay, so okay, so maybe this is the <laughs> maybe okay, I think I understand now. I think this is the error message that A1 was getting. Can't watch service without okay. Maybe that's what's going on. Let's just do this. Let's copy this and let's throw it into here. Uh, no, it doesn't say anything about that. I guess, is there anything in Docker Compose the documentation that says we can't use it? Let's see. Watch. I'll pass relative to the project directory. That's fine. Configuration. Okay, interesting. Yeah, well, thanks, Abel. I th I'm assuming that's the error message you get if you try to just run, watch an image. Uh, 
add watch section. Huh. Docker compose watch image. Huh, okay. That looks like can't without a build context. So the build context I'm assuming is created when you do this. So I wonder, okay, I wonder if there's a way around it. What is if we did build? Um, can you put an image inside a build context? Let's see. Docker compose build file build there we go Duh. um the build specification oh pardon me uh Docker, okay. Uh, Docker compose file, services. Build. Uh, I guess we go to the build. Can be defined under the build. Others make me the image attribute. When a build specification is present, ignores the image attribute. Okay. Uh, is a single string or a or a detailed build definition. I don't think you could use an image file under here. So yeah, you're going to have to link it to. Oh, you could build. Oh, you can build right from a GitHub image. Interesting. I didn't know that. Um, right, you got to set the context where you want the Docker file. You can inline a Docker file, that's fine. All right, so SSH is no cache pull network. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can put an image in there. Okay. So uh, if our Docker file here is just basically creates this app directory. So let's just get rid of the, um, right, sure. Let's just have it as bare bones as we can get it for this example. So, yeah, we can just do that and get rid of this guy. Now we probably need to, what's in my top, oop, ah, didn't want, didn't want to split that. How do I unsplit? Okay. Docker compose build app image. Okay, so it built it, that's good. And if we just run it. So it's running. So so now if we do Docker compose watch. Oh, okay, yeah. Now now it looks like it's working. So right, because I'm assuming that's what it means by what it means that error message build context is we need this build here. It won't just work with an image. All right, well, hey, one, it looks like it's right. Well, let's just, uh, anything else? I guess we'll just check to make sure that this actually works here. So, um, what was I gonna do? I was just gonna add a new file here. So if we go like foo.txt, like you should see it synchronize. And then if we go docker compose uh, exec app image, uh, oops. Uh, 
Oh, right, I gotta put uh, an SH in there. So now if we go look in the app folder, right, okay, so it create, yeah, right, it creates the app folder, it didn't exist, but it'll create it, and it only synchronized foo.txt, because we haven't changed. If we change this, though, it will synchronize it. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons I didn't like using Docker. If you didn't, it doesn't, it's not a correct mapping. Like it only syncs changes when they actually happen where volume, it gets you everything there. And then if you make changes inside the container, they're not reflected on the file system outside. But all right, we're getting out of topic, but yeah. So it looks like you're a hundred percent right there. A1, thank you very much for pointing that out. That you can't just use an image with watch because it apparently requires a build context, which I'm assuming gets created when you set when you have the the build uh, our option here in your Docker Compose service. Well, yeah. Well, thank you very much. That was that was a great that was a great question. <laughs> it looked like things weren't working, but they weren't working because you were right. A one. So uh, the other thing to take away for people is if you get that error message, oh, I, I got rid of it. And the other thing I want to remember, so let's let's stop this here. All right, if we just do this. Oh, wait, do we have the error message still over here? Or did I get rid of it? Yeah, okay. So if you can't watch a service without a build context error, Alpha should watch it not. Uh, oh yeah, here, there's the bug. Can't watch a service without a build section. Uh, server 12th. Uh, huh, yeah, somebody else found the bug. Oh, this is pretty old. April. 2014. Add a build to support Docker Compose watch changes. Docker build doesn't work by GitHub Actions, but it works locally. Okay, well, I, I don't see a lot of other people complaining about it, but I think most people, when they're watching something, you're not watching an image. Usually, you're you you have a Docker file with some with a built context in there, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I think that answers that question. So yeah, again, thank you very much. Uh, a one, I will, well, I'll answer you in the, in the YouTube replies here shortly. Probably, I'll probably wait till I post this video and then I can post a link to it. But yeah, thank you very much. That was an excellent question. Sorry, I misunderstood you when you first asked it, but yeah. So if anyone else, again, if anyone else has any questions that you'd like to ask, you can send me an email to ask saturdaymp.com or just uh, leave them in some of the YouTube comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them in future videos or answer them in the YouTube comments or stuff like that if you would like some more uh, personalized help getting software out the door you can also on my website you can well you can email me to, to set up an appointment but you can also click this book a consult button here and then oh, you can see um, I'm away gonna be off for the holidays here but you can find some times in here to try and book a time with me. If those times don't work for you, you can email me and we can find another time to chat. So yeah, if you're watching this, just I plan on publishing this on the 20th of everything, December 20th, 2023, if everything goes according to plan. Uh, so if you're watching this when it first came out, uh, I wish you all the best on the holidays. And if you're watching it later, I just, well, maybe it's maybe it's <laughs> a future uh, Christmas holiday or some other holiday break. I just wish you're having a great day and that you're getting software out the door uh, and there's no bugs over the weekend that you have to fix. So yeah, wishing you all the best. Take care. Bye.